My name is Linda Hanley Bowden. I'm a William Neal Reynolds professor in the Department of Molecular and Structural Biochemistry. About uh, 2007, I was at a meeting in um, Mozambique, and I met a person by the name of Joseph Nugrundru. And Joseph is now my collaborator. He's a co-PI on an NSF bread grant with me. And I remember sitting on the floor at that meeting looking at some data he had. He was just really getting started as an independent scientist at that time. And we were looking at pictures of cassava plants that were devastated with disease. The reason why this is really important is cassava is the number two crop in Africa. It is a key source of calories um, for over 700 million people in Africa every day. Unfortunately, because cassava is not as important in the developed world, uh, there hasn't been nearly as much emphasis on the problems in cassava. And so when I was sitting in the floor with Joseph all those years ago looking at these pictures, you know, I was really wondering, you know, what could we do to make a difference? And you know, for a while there were no opportunities, but then NSF came, came out with this BREAD program, and the acronym stands for Basic Research Enhancing Agricultural Development. Hmm. And the goal of that program, which is in collaborations with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is to look at fundamental questions that impact um, problems in agriculture in the developing world, with the idea being fundamental information that you can gain about what the sources of these problems are, maybe what the underlying mechanisms are, can then be translated into solutions to the problems down the road. I've had a number of undergraduates who come and work in my lab, especially in the summer, so they'll come and work for a couple of months, and I give them options, and you know, I tell them what's going on in the lab, and we have three very different projects in this lab, and inevitably they gravitate toward the cassava project. And I think they do that because um, it's very easy to relate what we're doing to a major problem in food security. And they like the idea of working on something that has a real world outcome potentially. I think if we could figure out how to reduce the disease pressure on cassava, the potential for growth of production is huge. The other thing I've really, it's gotten to be something I hadn't appreciated when I got started on this, but is I think as important is uh, transfer of technology and capacity building. The problem's an African problem. I'm interested in helping Africans solve it, but ultimately the solutions to any of these problems are going to have to be coming from African-led efforts. I have a student in my lab. Cyprian Rajubu, who is from Tanzania, he's doing his PhD research here. Cyprian, the goal is for Cyprian to return to Tanzania when he finishes his research and be part of the solution, be one of the leading scientists to take the next generation to lead these efforts.